Terry, where JAM stands for Jesus and me. I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. It's December, and we all know that it's the month that we celebrate Christmas! What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Christmas? Say it now. Let me hear you. Christmas trees, lights, presents, yummy food, family, friends, vacation? Oh, I think I heard someone say Christmas songs. And someone even said to serve those who are in need with food and clothes. All the things we do with our family are good ways to celebrate Christmas. No matter what reasons you gave for how you and your family celebrate Christmas, it's important to learn and know the reason why we even have Christmas at all. Do you ever wonder how the very first Christmas began? Believe it or not, the first Christmas didn't have anything to do with trees or toys or Santa. It began with a young woman named Mary who was just a teenager engaged to be married to a hard-working carpenter named Joseph. One day, an angel came and told her something amazing. Mary made an awesome choice that day, and her decision changed the world forever. That brings us to our Bible story for today. It is found in Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. I wonder what went through Mary's mind when the angel appeared and told her that God chose her to be the mother of Jesus. Mary might have thought, why would God choose me to be Jesus' mother? And why would he choose me now? We don't know what Mary's thoughts were in that moment, but she said yes to God. Mary had a willing heart and she allowed God to use her and she became the mother of Jesus. Mary's amazing choice is inspiring because it shows us that God can use us too if we have willing hearts and trust God above anything else. So, children, the reason we have Christmas is to celebrate Jesus' birth. Christmas all began with one young woman's decision to say yes to God. Mary's choice was the start of an amazing story. Let's pray that God will call all of us to an amazing story of our own. And let's pray for willing hearts to obey him and never forget why we celebrate Christmas. Dear God, we thank you that you love us so much that you sent your son Jesus to be here with us. Thank you for Christmas. Give us willing hearts to obey you and always remember why we celebrate Christmas. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.